Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. F Dash here with F Dash TV. Back again with another Honkai Impact third video. Today we're going to be talking about co op. So, first of all, happy fourth. May the fourth be with you. So, co op. Co op is a pretty cool mode in this game, right? So, every day there are some co op missions that you can do. Go to the world map here. So, uh, this is what it is for this weekend. I'm sorry, not this weekend. For this week, we've got today, we've got the Secret Armory. And the Secret Armory repeats Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I actually don't like this event. This is the one I don't like. Uh, character trainings are Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Those are pretty fun. And then coin training is really fun. And, but those are only available Saturday and Sundays. Uh, but this one is not that fun. But it is a co-op mission, right? Um, it's not going to be the one I'm going to be showing you. You ha The reason I don't like this one is because you're fighting uh, the big giant Honkai boss. And um, you can't really QT him very well. So the, it takes a little bit longer, right? So the one I'm going to show you is character training. So let's go ahead and watch some footage here while we, we talk about co-op. So again, co-op, you can play with randoms if you want. Uh, you can definitely team up with your friends and I think that's when it's a lot funner when you're teaming up with your friends and you guys are just going in murking people uh, it's really fun especially if you do voice now if you play with randoms of course they're random they're, they can either be good or bad uh, there's really no way of knowing but I'm almost to the point where I can unlock the level 45 ones because these these current ones here don't really provide much of a challenge especially Especially if you or your friends roll in here with a uh, snowy sniper. It's very easy to QTE snowy sniper. And she does absurd amounts of damage as you'll see in these uh, these co-op missions I had here with Robbie Dagger. He brought snowy sniper and she, just, she does stupid damage. It's quite absurd. But it's really fun. It's really fun. And the, so the cool part is you have this, uh, you have your obviously your level, your captain level. But then you also have a co-op level and you know you get additional co-op levels by just by you know doing co-op so you get for every level you get special talents and such right so you can increase your attack talents your defensive talents and your other talents so for example for attacking the first one that unlocks is battlefield support so this increases your team QTE um, by a certain percentage. I have level two. And right now, so I deals 3.0% increased damage. Next level will do 4.5. Then we have overclocking, which unlocks at co-op level six, grants QTE, or it says team T QTE grants attack speed for all members for five seconds. This is gonna be, the first level is gonna be 1.5 attack speed. Then at level 15, you get shield destroyer, which deals increased damage to shielded elite enemies. So that's all your attacking buffs that you can get. Your defensive buffs take less damage from creature, take less damage from psychic, and take less damage from mech types. You see how quick that was? That was that was like 14 seconds. That was that was not. It was crazy. Crazy. And then your other, you can reduce cooldowns of team skills by 1.2%. Oh, I'm sorry, by a certain percentage, of course it increases. Reduce cooldowns of Team QTE, and then your Team QTE will recover a specific amount of SP. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Might as well do it, right? So, the other thing I wanted to bring up about co-op is at the very end, you'll notice that you can give thumbs up. Please, 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 please give a thumbs up. Every single person can leave that screen and that battle with a thumbs up. Yeah. Moonbeam is so damn awesome. So awesome. Right? So every single person should leave that screen, this screen right here, with a thumbs up. There are three of you, three possible people. Give every single person a thumbs up. Now, why would you want to do this? Because this gives you friend points. And, I mean, it's silly not to. It's free friend points. You know? And, I mean, it's just be, be, be a good friend. Be a good teammate. Give some friend points. Now, the one you're seeing now is the event for this week. This is the Godfather. 
There's also, uh, so this is the Godfather A Mecha, and then the God, the actually the Iron Wall A. I don't like either of these. I don't like it in solo mode. I don't like it in co-op mode. I don't like it on a train. I don't like it in a car, and I don't like it in a plane. It's just not fun. And it could be because I don't have many psychic, uh, psychic characters, right? Like I only have Bronya. But I don't know. This just, it's just not that fun. If I could QTE, they'd be great. But it's a little difficult to QTE these kind of people. But yeah, so this is the one for this week. Defeat the Honkai Godfather. He may drop rare equipment. He has the potential of dropping the Godfather's Great Sword. Which is kind of cool, I guess. It's a weapon forged by uh, something. Schnitzel with self-developed fire-type Honkai energy. So you can get that. And these change all the time too, right? So we've got the other ones you can do are Gluttony to the Core, Wendy's Vengeance, Bronya's Betrayal. That's when you fight like Dark Bronya. This week is Last Song of Godfather. So again, co-op's pretty, really damn fun, you know? Um, I, I quite enjoy it. And again, at the end of each match, dude, give, give, give your teammates a thumbs up, man. Don't leave that screen until you give the thumbs up. Now it's not, it's not a great idea to, you know, give one person all the thumbs up, you should share the well, all right? Make sure every single person gets their thumbs up. Now, what can you do once you've done this, right? You can go to the shop, spend your currency on the uh, your United tokens on the only thing you can, which is uh, these soap crystals. It's essentially free, man. Do it. Do it. But yeah, co-op. Now there there was a raid a few weeks ago. Co-op was uh, co-op raid was pretty fun, but um, yeah. So make sure you give your thumbs up. Do your co-op missions because they're fun. Excuse my uh, dark, my dark captain, uh, my bridge here. I'm observing daylight savings or something like that. I don't know. It's really weird that it's dark, but whatever. So yeah, co-op missions they're fun. Do them. Give thumbs up. Now again, it is the fourth, so. The new pull is available for the Void Blade and the Laws of Force set. I'll be doing a video sometime between 5, 7, and 5, 11. I'm going to try to pull for your near. Should be fun. But I hope you all have a very safe and happy May 4th and a good Cinco de Mayo. And I will see you all next time on F-TV.